right now is which mat do you look at? We've, we've got Kynan and Bouchesha on our mat, mat number one. Uh, you got Nicky Rod, uh, uh, Nick Rodriguez, and Cyborg on mat number two, and you've got Gary Tonin and Hulk on mat number three. So, uh, I mean, obviously we're going to stick here on mat number <laughs> one, but all of them just fantastic matches on paper. Heavy call of ties early from Kynan Duarte, Bouchesha, not looking too phased, and John Bouchesha clearly a considerably bigger than Kynan here. Yeah, Bouchesha, I mean, he's a huge human being that moves very quickly. Kynan is actually not that tall, but he is quite wide, very muscular. Um, everyone talks about his strength when he so chooses to use it. So it will be interesting to see if that height difference plays a factor. I think they're just having a little bit of gamesmanship here, trying to get inside each other's heads. Of course, ADCC rules, 10 minutes on the clock. First five minutes, no points will be counted. Uh, so the goal really is go for submissions, try and establish your tactics and your game plan. Final five-minute period will, of course, involve points. If there's uh, no score after that 10 minutes, there'll be a one-time five-minute overtime period. Yeah, now something that is really interesting is that you look at Bouchesha, when he makes a collar tie, he goes more to the top of the head. When he does that, it's kind of more like a tie plum, and it really puts a lot of stress in the lower back. Yeah, he's really trying to break the, the head alignment of Duarte down. Of course, being that much taller as well, he can really weigh over the top of him. Yeah, the only problem with that is that you've got to watch out for the shot because Kynan is lower. He's closer to the ground. If he changes levels quickly, and especially if he can uh, move that collar tie off in the same motion, he can shoot under it. So how do you think the experience edge is going to play in for Bouchesha? Because, of course, 2013 world champion, 2017 world champion Duarte, by contrast, uh, just the one win at Trials in uh, 2017 and only just starting his black belt career. Do you think he's going to be phased... Uh, by the, the presence of someone like Bouchesha in this tournament? I Honestly, I don't think so. Um, he's, you know, he's been there. He, you know, maybe he hasn't uh, had a lot of experience against somebody like Bouchesha, but he has won black belt tournaments already, um, and he has looked pretty unstoppable in some tournaments. So uh, I don't think the, the experience difference is going to phase him. Good little tussle at the side of the mat there. They reset in the middle. Now, John, we got one of Bouchesha's matches on this mat yesterday. We got to see up close uh, how he was looking for this tournament. And, you know, no disrespect to him, perhaps a little bit slow start after his first two matches. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, Bouchesha, I feel like he just does what is needed. So he can look really bad in some matches. But um, his MO is that he can come from a terrible deficit and come back and find a way to win. And that, we saw that in one of his matches here. Yeah, we yesterday. saw that in his first match of the, the, the day against Antonio Braga Neto. It was reversal points at the very last second that gave him the win. And that is just, I mean, that's classic Bouchesha. It, it, you can't count him out because that is, if I had a, a nickel for every time he was uh, at a points deficit in a match and came back and won, I would probably be a rich person right now. <laughs> So still tying up here, tempted arm drag by Bouchesha. And it really is, particularly in these heavyweight divisions, John, you expect a feeling out process. Guard pull from Duarte here. He's going to play a bit of seated guard whilst he can still get away with not taking a negative point for the guard pull. Bouchesha looking to sprawl pass here. Bouchesha so fast. It's, it, that has got to be something that's surprising for Kynan because you can't find anyone to emulate that in the training room. Nobody's going to be as big as Bouchesha and as fast. Oh, looking to oh. step over for the outside heel hook here, but the knee line, it's turning it into a knee bar here. Knee line's clear. Duarte rolls out. He's up on a single now. Bouchesha tries to jump and snap down. Wow, this pace is crazy already. You I want like to, to see that from Bouchesha too, going for the leg lock. Yeah, it's something, something a little bit different from him now. When we talk about athleticism, of course, there's one guy in this heavyweight bracket on the other side of the bracket that everybody's talking about may be able to match Bouchesha for athleticism at this size. Yeah, we'll see. I, I'm not sure if anyone can match Bouchesha for athleticism at his size. Uh, I mean, you're talking about Nick Rodriguez. I certainly am. But uh, Nick Rodriguez is definitely not quite as big as Bouchesha. Bouchesha is... Uh, humongous and also extremely athletic so so z guard here for kynan duarte looking to try and wrap up a two on one on marcus bouchesha almeida and looking to use that lace through grip down onto the knee perhaps try and sprawl past on the kneecaps but uh, i think duarte is going to 
for something a little bit trickier than that out of him. Yeah, Duarte using the knee shield guard. Bushesha looked like he was going to go for a leg weave pass, but the leg weave is not as strong in no gi as it is in the gi. Um, unfortunately, there's no collar to grab, so you usually will have to leg work out and then grab the head around the neck as the last part of the pass, right before you pass, but um, it's still not as effective, and you can see Bushesha punching the ground with his fist. If you don't cup that bottom leg and have the ability to pull it up in the air when your opponent, um, or while you're passing, your opponent can always just invert. So that's, that's the importance of controlling that bottom leg in the leg weave. Usually you just have the pants grip to be able to do that, but in Nogi you have to cup that bottom leg and it's just not as strong. Duarte staying in this Z-guard here. Of course, points have been available oh, for... Oh, upside down, hitting the Kiss of the Dragon. Yeah, Kiss of the Dragon through to the back. Bouchesha trying to step out, and he gets sat down. Now, if Duarte comes up, they're in points now. The second five-minute period, he would score. Trying to invert underneath again. Yeah, he's too far away on, on the leg. He's Ooh, foot to the throat oh, to try like and reestablish the space. Going to 50-50, and now looking for the heel hook. Yeah, nice re-pummel. Bouchesha dropping all that weight on that right foot, trying to keep that heel pinned to the mat, limit that heel exposure. The only problem with that is that if you're in 50-50, if you don't clear those legs off quickly, you can be put on your butt uh, fairly easily. Oh, yeah, he's got to straighten his leg here, try and shake down, clear that knee line. Any other options for Kynan here, John? Um, I mean, Kynan could take out, uh, take out his left leg and try to put it as a hook around the back, and that usually means you're going to take the back with it. Um, but uh, you, can, you can play that game of going back and forth. Well, in the end, an easy strip for... Bouchesha to clear that leg out, but uh, good attempt at the entanglement from Duarte. Yeah, 3.30 left on the clock here. That was actually a really sneaky option. I thought he had completely lost that because he was on the lower part of the leg. Um, and usually when you're spinning under on the lower part of the leg, it's very easy to defend. And that's what was happening, but he decided to mix it up and go for that far leg, which actually put um, Bouchesha in a bit of danger. Bouchesha trying to jump by the guard again. And this is, I think, this is where he's very dangerous. He's so quick. And he's so big that if he gets just a little bit of an advantage, he can uh, really solidify a pass quickly. Do you think uh, Bouchesh is perhaps biding his time a little bit here? We said, you know, sometimes he doesn't start that quickly, but 2.45 left here. So he's got to start thinking about getting points on the board soon. Yeah, I feel like he doesn't start that quickly, um, but usually you don't see him uh, making a rally for the end unless he's down. So I'll, I'll be curious to see if he's... Uh, just a little bit more lackadaisical in this match right up until the end. But Kynan can turn on the heat at any moment. And Kynan also plays... Oh, Ooh, and there you go, exactly as you said. Up. Kicks up, comes up, trying to sling Bouchesha to the ground. He does, Bouchesha scrambles, posts away. Oh, and Duarte sits again, and that's him playing the rules because he came up off a takedown and it was in one continuous sequence. He will not get penalized for essentially pulling guard again because he did it in that single sequence. Yeah, he, he went from guard and he's back down to guard. So no harm, no foul. They don't want to penalize him for making an attempt at a, at a takedown. Yeah, if, that, if, if there'd been a break in the action and he'd kind of stayed standing for a few seconds, it would have been deemed a separate passage of action. But as it was, Duarte really aware of the rule set immediately sat back down to play this guard game. And I like the way that he initiated that too. Just a kick on the chest to off balance Bouchesha and that's all he needed. He was up and away on that single leg, then trying to take the back. And that's what you get with both of these guys. They kind of have a similar game in that respect where they they lull you into this false sense of security where you feel, you feel safe, you feel like you're not in danger and then all of a sudden they can just turn it on to 11 and it's so tough to keep up with them. But it didn't end up being something very flashy, did it? That straight uh, foot to the chest. So we're going to get a reset here. You can hear the crowd getting, uh, getting on their feet for Matt another one of the two. matches. Yeah. You don't want you to take your eyes off Matt 1, but uh, Matt 2's got some great action going on with Cyborg and Nicky Rod right now. But less than a minute to go in this match. Somebody's got to do something. Triangle Here's entry triangle. from Duarte, looking to transition to the leg and a little bit too loose there. Bouchesha immediately steps back inside. They do look like they're going to up the pace a little bit here. Wow, this crowd 
They're so appreciative of everything that's happening. They were fantastic yesterday. They're really in, in store for a fantastic day of grappling today. Uh, once we finish the semi-finals this morning, we'll go to an incredible setup for the finals matches. But we've got 22 seconds left in this semi-final here in the over 99 kilo category. And again, Kynan kicks off. Not yeah. able to explode up though, and it looks... I like that setup though, that is sneaky. Yeah, it looks like they might both be accepting that uh, they might be for accepting that we're going to yeah, overtime here. On that one. Rapturous applause here for a lot of the action going on. But we have gone to an overtime period here with Marcus Bouchesha and Kainan Duarte. In fact, all three mats going to overtime here, but uh, we're back on the feet. Heavy collar ties again from both of these gentlemen. Man, this is, I mean, this is the craziest ADCC ever. <laughs> it's, it's just it's the level of talent. Unreal. The, the spectators, I mean, this place is packed. Everyone's so knowledgeable about the sport. Big oh, shot from Bouchesha comes in. Can he stay connected? Tries to sling Kynan down. Man, and the way that Bouchesha just threw Kynan around there at the end. He wasn't able to complete the takedown, but so much power. It's, a, it's, an, it's an unbelievable tempo change, isn't it? It's just, it's insane to go from that to, to the speed that he can generate. Yeah, and both of them do it too, which makes it, it, it makes it a, um, a little bit of a tough match to watch because they lull the audience as well. Yeah. And you think, ah, take your eyes off happen. for a second. Yep, and that's all it takes. As soon as there's one little opening, that's when they go. And uh, man, if you're not looking, you'll miss it for sure. So again, Bouchesha wearing on this head here, looking to try and pull down on the posture. Duarte looking fresh here, not, no heavy breath, staying, you know, good straight back. Looking to strip off. Shesha lowers his level down now. Yeah, Duarte had that collar tie, and he still does, on the outside of uh, Bouchesha's collar tie, which is usually not very good. He moves it into a double collar tie, which can be very stressful for the back of the neck. The problem with it, oh, and tries for a leg trip. Bouchesha think thinks about shooting in, but... They've both got to start thinking about... And uh, I like what Kynan's doing here. He's faking the shot. He's throwing some feints while he's making these collar ties, and that makes him dangerous. Bouchesha has to really think. Yeah, they've really got to start thinking about how the officials will be scoring this one. If there's nothing going on the board in the next 245, we will go to an official's decision, and John, probably pretty even right now. Yeah, I think Kynan's pushing the pace a little bit now. And yeah, here he goes there for a blast go. double. Forehead on the chest. Yeah, couldn't quite get the bend in the back of Bouchesha, but they're all entries that are going to show he's the one yeah. with the aggression and the pressure. Yeah, he's definitely pushing the pace, and when he makes this double collar tie, the way he does, it's a lot of pressure on the neck, but it leaves him open to uh, a double leg. If Bouchesha can change his level quickly and shoot underneath that, Kynan is definitely open to that. The only problem is that Bouchesha is so much taller that it's going to be tough to change your level that much and get under Kynan. There you can see Kynan with good hand fighting just pushes Bouchesha away. Yeah, he's going to have to really uh, change level effectively and at least distract him, feint, clear the hands. He certainly can't shoot from that far on the outside. And so this is the answer that Bouchesha has to the double collar tie on the outside of the arms of Bouchesha. Bouchesha goes to double collar tie on the inside, but this is where it's dangerous for Bouchesha, I think, because that's where the double comes in. Oh, and, oh, and he shoots and he's... Following right off the edge of the mat, not able to connect. One of the media <laughs> <laughs> girls. Uh, and this is the problem that both of them are having, is they're getting a half entry, but they're both so explosive and so fast, they can frame and just create enough separation. You just can't quite get hold of them. Yeah, I like that from Bouchesha, though. That shows that he's here, he's still trying. And he wants this one, so that was his closest attempt at the overtime. Last minute and a half here, and they're really starting to get into these grips. Yeah, the, this is going to be go time. Yeah, this level of aggression coming up here. He gets the single leg. Now, what can he do with it? He's got, uh, he hasn't got his head too tight, though. Bouchesha framing, looking to push that neck away. Trip, can't quite off balance him up top. Just missed that grip, didn't he, as he went? Yeah, his shoulder was just a bit far away from Bouchesha. Usually need your body a little bit closer. Thought maybe he was going to go for a high single. 
off a bit or transition maybe to the back, but... Oh, oh. Bruchesha stuffed well out and Kynan just gets over the top. Now in body lock over here. Under. Yep, but Bouchesha does have the body lock. 40 seconds here. Bouchesha with that S grip, nice and tight around. I mean, she's going to look for some inside trips. They both look like they're thinking very hard about what they can do from here. Last 30 seconds, they've got to know that it's all on the line here. Who's going to go through to the final uh, to the final to face the winner of Nick Rodriguez and Roberto Cyborg Abreu? Yeah, we we need aggression here. This is this is um, important for both competitors. Oh, clash ahead, snapping down, looking for the doubles. Yeah, this is getting dirty. Bouchesha oh. shoots a long way out, easily stuffed. Five seconds left. Kynan in, connects on the hips, can't quite off balance. Bouchesha, but he pushes slipping him over, over, and that is going to force the end of this match. And the ref's going to be hard pressed to give that one to Bouchesha, especially with it ending with Bouchesha on his butt from Kynan pushing him. And it is going to be a tough decision for these officials. And that would be a huge upset if Bouchesh is out in this round. So Ref's the decision <laughs> on mat number one. Decision here on our mat. Marcus Bouchesha made a Kynan Duarte, and it goes to Kynan Duarte, the two-time champion.